Welcome to the Novena for the Intercession of St. Joseph. On this sixth day, we honor St. Joseph as the patron of families. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O St. Joseph, I venerate you as the gentle head of the Holy Family. The Holy Family was the scene of your life's work in its origin, in its guidance, in its protection, in your labor for Jesus and Mary, and even in your death in their arms. You lived, moved, and acted in loving company of Jesus and Mary. The inspired writer describes your life at Nazareth in only a few words. The second chapter of St. Luke's Gospel reads, And Jesus went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. Yet these words tell your high vocation here on earth and the abundance of graces which filled your soul during the years spent in Nazareth. Your family life at Nazareth was all radiant with the light of divine charity. There was an intimate union of heart and mind among the members of your holy family. There could not have been a closer bond than that uniting you to Jesus, your foster son, and to Mary, your most loving wife. Jesus chose to fulfill toward you, his foster father, all the duties of a faithful son, showing you every mark of honor and affection due to a parent. And Mary showed you all the signs of respect and love of a devoted wife. You responded to this love and veneration from Jesus and Mary with feelings of deepest love and respect. You had for Jesus a true fatherly love, enkindled and kept a glow in your heart, by the Holy Spirit, and you could not cease to admire all the workings of grace in Mary's soul, and this admiration caused holy love, which you had consecrated to her on the day of your wedding, to grow stronger every day. God has made you a heavenly patron of family life, because you sanctified yourself as head of the Holy Family, and thus by your beautiful example sanctified family life. How peacefully and happily the Holy Family rested under your care of your fatherly rule, even in the midst of trials. You were the protector, counselor, and consolation of the Holy Family in every earnestness and devout trust in God's providence, and especially by your love, the example of labor according to the will of God. You cherished all the experiences common to family life and the sacred memories of the life, sufferings, and joys in the company of Jesus and Mary. Therefore, the family is dear to you as the work of God, and it is of the highest importance in your eyes to promote the honor of God and the well-being of man. In your loving fatherliness and unfailing intercession, you are the patron and intercessor of families and you deserve a place in every home. O St. Joseph, I thank you for your privilege of living in the Holy Family and being its head. As a token of your own gratitude to God, obtain God's blessing upon my own family. Make our home the kingdom of Jesus and Mary, and a kingdom of peace, of joy, and love. I also pray for all Christian families, your help is needed in our day when God's enemy has directed his attack against the family in order to desecrate and destroy it. In the face of these evils, as patron of families, be pleased to help, and as of old, you arose to save the child and his mother, so today arise to protect the sanctity of the home. Make our home sanctuaries of prayer, of love, of patience, of sacrifice and of work. May they be modeled after your own home at Nazareth. Remain with us, with Jesus and Mary, so that by your help we may obey the commandments of God and of the Church, receive the holy sacraments of God and of the Church, to live a life of prayer and foster religious instruction in our homes. Grant that we may be reunited in God's kingdom and eternally live in the company of the Holy Family in Heaven. Let us continue with the Novena Prayer. O Saint Joseph, I, your unworthy child, greet you. 
You are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know that I have a special confidence in you and that after Jesus and Mary, I place all my hope of salvation in you, for you are especially powerful with God and will never abandon your faithful servants. Therefore, I humbly invoke you and commend myself with all who are dear to me and all that belong to me to your intercession. I beg you, by your love for Jesus and Mary, not to abandon me during this life and to assist me at the hour of my death. O glorious St. Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, obtain for me a pure, humble, and charitable mind and a perfect resignation to the divine will. Be my guide, my father, and my model through this life, that I may merit to die as you did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. O loving St. Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, I raise my heart to you, and I implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special grace I now implore. State your intentions here. O guardian of the word incarnate, I feel confident that your prayers in my behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. Amen. Let us conclude today's novena by praying the Memorare. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, my loving protector, Saint Joseph, that no one had ever recourse to your protection or asked for your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, I come before you and humbly implore you, despise not my petitions, foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so concludes our Novena Prayer for today. Join again tomorrow for Day 6, and may God's peace be with you.